What's up, everybody? Now, this is a requested video from a subscriber and follower um, of mine. Shout out to Janal. Um, also, been sending me some, uh, you know, donations and super chats to the YouTube channel and, uh, you know, just overall uh, uh, to the content. But uh, he wanted to know how can you use dual SIM uh, if you got Google Fi Invisible. Now, Google Fi does run off of uh, eSIM. So technically, if you go to Google Fi website and order a SIM, you don't necessarily have to have a uh, physical SIM card uh, for the Google Fi service. If you're running on a Google Pixel um, 3 and 3A and uh, Pixel 4. So keep that in mind. Um, you don't need a necessary physical eSIM for that. Uh, I mean, physical SIM. But um, yeah, but anything else like visible and maybe Mint Mobile and stuff, you would get sent a physical SIM card. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Sorry, I don't have any information about that. <laughs> about um, this. So you go ahead, go here. You go to mobile network. All right. Now, as you can see, you see visible active and you see Fi is active. All right. They're both active. All right. So um, and the Fi sim is downloaded. All right. So how do you do that? You go to add more. OK, it says connect to mobile network and it basically giving you a little demo, which this is why I like Google. They always showing demos, how to do stuff. So it's just showing you how to, you know, insert and eject the SIM, put a SIM in if you need the physical SIM card. But um, other than that, at the bottom, you see it says download a SIM instead, add a number using the eSIM. So this is how you will activate Fi on your your pixels. All right, the ones that's uh, compatible with dual SIM support. Okay, and then after that, it just shows you the demo. You can read it, you know, hit the next button. It says checking uh, network info. All right, and these are the carriers that are compatible with eSIM. All right, you got Fi, you got Sprint, you got T-Mobile. If you know uh, another um, service or carrier that's compatible with eSIMs, then you hit that, use different network. All right, you need a scan QR code so it can, you know, find the network. And that's how you set it all up. Now, when you want to switch between networks, uh, you want to tap on the one you want to use for calls and texts. So my FISIM is connected to calls and texts, so I can make calls and texts directly from the FISIM. As you can see, it has a um, logo right there, it has signal. And I got this uh, one app that shows you which network I'm on using Fi. So um, Fi is, um, you know, $20 base unlimited talk and text. Invisible, you can get down to as cheap as $25 a month for unlimited data. So keep that in mind. All right. So you want to use Visible. You want to tap on Visible. And then you want to tap on whether or not you want calls and text, mobile data, roaming, things of that sort. If you need help with VPN, I mean APN settings, you tap on the APNs. But mine's already in, I guess, because I'm using the Pixel. But um, yeah, so how does this also work with your phone number? So I have two different phone numbers, one from five, one from the uh the visible. So I go to my messenger, all right, and down here it's showing you that I'm texting and messaging from the five number. Now, I can change that and switch over. So, if I want to do that, I want to switch to my visible number. I can switch to visible. Let me see. Well, I think it's not allowing me to do that now because I'm on. Well, yeah, this this is. Um, no, it's my mobile number. Huh? All right. So, I guess because I got data only. So, let me see something real fast. All right. Okay. So, right now, it's showing uh, when I'm. Sending a message to, uh, to my one friend and so invisible as the first sim. Um, so let me see if it'll still work since I turned off the data. I'm gonna send message and boom, it did go through. So, yeah, so that's how you use dual sim on the Pixel 3a, Pixel 3a XL, Pixel uh, 4. Um, basically, you go through the settings. Um, go to network and you see the mobile networks you add, you can add or just see which ones they already show you at the top 
um, which one using data and which one's using calls and texts. Now, I think you can use data on both. Um, let's see. Let me turn on data for five. All right. Okay, so this message pops up says using five for mobile data, you use a visible for mobile data. If you switch to five, visible will no longer be used for mobile data. So technically, I can't use it. I can't use both on data, but uh, I can use five for talking text and then I can use visible for data. So it just depends on which networks are faster, have the fastest speeds. Um, like I'm trying to show you guys on uh, this one app. I don't know why it happened, but I'm using this one app for five signal spy. It will tell you which network you're on. So, hey, if T-Mobile has the better speeds than visible, turn off visible and turn on T-Mobile. Or, I mean, five or whichever carrier you have as the eSIM. And then use that for the data speeds. And then just use the other SIM or eSIM for calls and texts. So, I hope that helps and explains everything uh, how to use the eSIM um, and dual SIM on the pixels. As you can see, I got two signals, one for available, one for Google Fi. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hope you guys think I was very informative. Subscribe and follow along on this journey. I'll let your boy.